So let's talk about how we can rewrite literal equations. Um, the very first thing you have to do is make sure that you know what you're going to solve for. So here I'm telling you solve for this y, um, get the y all by itself. So let's rewrite that. Let's get the positive 4x out of the way by subtracting 4x on both sides. And so 4x minus 4x is 0. We have a positive 1y left over, so we'll pull that down. And now take a look at this. If these are not like terms, you just pull them straight down 100. And we subtracted 4x, so let's just put minus 4x. And as soon as you see that you have the variable that you wanted, we wanted the y all by itself, here it is, y equals 100 minus 4x. So we've rewritten the literal equation, and uh, now you're free to move on to the next problem. So in this one, we've got 5x plus y. So all we have to do is get the 5x away from the y, and we'll be free. Um, we want to solve for the y, so this will knock everything off beside it. Pull down our y. Again, 16 minus 5x since they're not like terms, and we're done. How can we get the negative 7x away from the y? Just add it. And then we're left with 11 plus 7x. Here we get into a little bit more of a uh, complex situation than what you're used to seeing so far. Let's just take it one step at a time. We'll get the 14x out of the way because we can just subtract it. And we're left with, in this case, positive 3y or 3 times y equals 33 minus 14x. How can I get that positive 3 to go away? Well, it's bound together with multiplication, and so we'll undo it with an inverse operation. 3 divided by 3 is positive 1. Hey, the y is all by itself. Now we just have to divide this entire right side by 3. And you can write it like this, and technically, if you're not going to be doing much else with it, um, you can let it sit like that. Uh, I directed some students to do that last night, but it also means that every single term in this right side of the equation is going to be divided by 3. So 33 divided by 3 and negative 14x divided by 3. So 33 divided by 3 is 11, and then just put minus 14 thirds times x. Okay, so let's get the x away from the y since we're solving for it. Pull down our negative 4y, pull down negative 48, pull down positive 6x. Now we're just left with having to divide by negative 4. So technically, again, we can just have this all divided by negative 4 on the right side. Um, what you're looking for, though, is a situation where you go, you know what, I, I know that negative 48 divided by negative 4 is positive 12. Um, and then when you look at this situation, it's a little bit more complex, um, you know, plus negative 6 fourths as a fraction. You put that negative sign up on top, you could simplify the fraction. And um, because it's negative, you could just say, hey, negative 3 has x, but it causes a, a lot more issues for you at that point. Um, for today, because we're just now getting used to everything, to be honest with you, if you can get it to this point, y would equal negative 48 plus 6x divided by negative 4, you're doing okay. If you can get it to this point right now, then you understand the basis for what's happening. I don't want you to get stuck in a rut, though. Uh, there's a lot of equations out there that don't have an x, that don't have a y, and we're talking about rewriting literal equations. So uh, let's go and solve this equation for b. Um, b is multiplying c 
So to get the C to go away, we're just going to divide both sides by C. So A divided by C equals B. That's the way it would work out for that. What if we wanted to solve for C? Well, in that case, I would want to divide both sides by B to free up the variable C. Here's the formula that's used a lot. Distance equals rate times time. You'll see it in science class a lot. We want to get the T all by itself. So let's get that R away from it. R is multiplying T, so we'll divide it by R, divide the other side by R, and we have distance divided by rate equals time. Here's a random equation I've put together. If we want to rewrite the literal equation to solve for W, just get the W all by itself. How's that work? Well, L is times in W, so we'll divide the right side of the equation by L, and then we'll divide the left side of the equation by L. So T uh, plus 4 is going to be divided by L. Let me make that a cursive L so it's easier to see. Equals W. So it's all about isolating the variable, um, getting the variable that you want by itself all alone on one side of the equation. It doesn't really matter if you get a, a nice neat number or just a hodgepodge of other, other variables. Um, again, we're just rewriting these literal equations to make it be what we want it to be. So how would we handle something like this? Uh, much in the same way that we handled x plus 9 divided by 2 equals 4, uh, you would multiply both sides of the equation by 2 first, and we were left with x plus 9 equals 8. Well, here, since all of this, 5x plus y is being divided by 2, let's multiply both sides by 2. And we're left with 5x plus y equals 8. And now you're free to uh, do the normal steps that you're used to doing. x would equal negative 1 here. Here we want to solve for, uh, let's just say it's x this time. Okay, Let's just get x all by itself. So minus y, minus y. I was going to solve for y at first, but uh, now we're solving for x. So um, I pull down positive 5x, y minus y is nothing, and then we have equals 8 minus y. And how can we get the x by itself? Now we just have to divide both sides by 5, and we're done. x equals 8 minus y divided by 5. 